Hey everyone, welcome back. All right, Carter Beauty. They sent me over some products and then I had already bought some products and then I just bought some more <laughs> when I was at Walmart recently. So I'm gonna show you all of it that I have. I'll show you what um, they sent me first because I have most of that on top. Okay, the Apollo bronzer palette. Now they did, I already had this. So I have two. So one's going to one of my girlfriends. Okay, this is the one that's brand new. Because I can tell because the little... Those aren't messed up. The little dots in there. All right, so that one I'm going to put aside. Thank you to Carter Beauty for sending this over. I really appreciate it. So this is the Apollo Bronzer Palette. Like I said, I've already even done one Get Ready With Me with the palettes. But I have three eyeshadow palettes now. <laughs> so we're going to end up doing you know another Get Ready With Me. And we'll interchange the palettes or however we're going to do it. You never know with me. That's the fun part. <laughs> okay, so there's the four bronzers. This is more like of a highlighty shade to me, this lighter shade. But you can also use that to bring down another shade if you wanted to also. so And these are at Walmart, by the way. These are at Walmart. Very affordable. Okay, now they sent over the Aphrodite blusher palette, which is this one here, gorgeous, and when I had picked up my original haul, I picked up Cupid, so you have Cupid, which is more on the peachy side, and then Aphrodite is more on the pink side, as you can see, so let me get you swatches of these, I forgot just one big video, <laughs> Yeah, I found these at Walmart, and it was just like, they're really nice products, you know, and it's affordable pricing. I want to say between five, six bucks and 15, somewhere in there. And the palettes were the most expensive, probably at the 15. Okay, so here's the Aphrodite. I haven't even touched this one yet, so. But I already have a feeling it's going to be nice, because the other one's nice. Got this mauve shade on the bottom, I don't like that, this one. These are nice. I hate pinky swatches. I do the worst with the pinky because my pinky is so small. Okay. There's the bottom. That's my little pinky swatch. So there's your pinks and then you have your corals. Peachy shades. Very nice. So I'm glad I have both blush palettes. So I think there's just the two. I think. <laughs> I hope. Okay, um, they sent, Carter Beauty sent me the Come Hither Lengthening Mascara. And I had purchased at Walmart the After Dark Volumizing Mascara. So now I have them both. I had no, I've had no issues with both of them. I've worn them both. I think the wands are very similar, so the formula is probably just different. Look, I have a pink cap and a purple cap, so I can tell them apart. <laughs> so now you can see that's the purple cap. So purple's volumizing, the white cap's lengthening. Similar style wand. The volumizing just might be a little bit denser packed. But like I said, they work. That's what we like, as long as it works. Okay. Now, they, uh, Carter Beauty sent me the Supreme Gel Liner, which is this here. It does have the little brush in the cap. You pull right out. You unscrew this, and there's your black gel. And like any gel liner, a little goes a long way. And I barely touched the brush to this, but for you black gel liner and that's you know it's a whiter kind of brush you use any brush you want you know it's just gonna keep going <laughs> I tend to use um I don't use a lot of eyeliner on the upper lash line because I do have hooded eyes but I tend to use a bent angled liner just I find it easier okay they sent me over a lipstick in the shade Katie here. 
The lipsticks are definitely like summery shades. Where am I gonna put this? Okay. So there's Katie. And then the one I had picked up is Louise. And they do show the colors on the bottom. And they're really wedged into the display at mine. I think I have this one on. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I have Katie on. Or Louise. Louise. Okay, so again, this is more peachy. This is more pink. So one goes with one palette. The other one goes with the other. <laughs> um, I had purchased the lip tint. And this is in Louise also, so it matches the other one. When I, when I think of lip tint, you're just thinking like, oh, it's got like an oil, something just tinted lightly. Oh no, this is full on, full on color. That's right here. <laughs> One swipe. Does it match this one? Yeah. I don't know which side it matches. <laughs> I put it on both sides of the lipsticks. But I, this is more than a tint. It is full on. Full on color. I was like, holy shit. Let me try to get some of these lipsticks off here so I don't. Uh, okay, how am I doing on time here? We've got three palettes to do. Okay, hold on. That's a wet one. Yeah, so if, if you find them in your Walmart, mine were on the very end of the display, you know, at the end of the whole aisle. And I just was like, Carter Beauty, and then I realized it's Marissa Carter. So this is a woman-owned brand. Marissa Carter is also the owner of Coco Brown Tan. So if you're looking even for a really good um, self-tanner, I used to use Coco Brown all the time back in the day. And now it's back. I'm just not tanning this year. I'm not going to even bother. And it, it was very affordable. I'm talking 7 to not even $10 for a thing. And they are out of Ireland, by the way, too. I laugh, I go, my two favorite tanners are literally probably the Coco Brown Tan, which is always give you a great tan, that's out of Ireland. And then Vita Liberata, which the price point on that is, wow. But they're out of Ireland too, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> and they both make great tanning products. It's like, holy shit, okay. All right, so the palette that Carter Beauty sent me is the Sweet Apricot, which is right here. Oh, my lights are going. Beautiful neutral palette. The one I had originally purchased is Warm Velvet. This is gorgeous too. This is the one I have to get ready with me with. I usually put those little card things up in the corner somewhere halfway through videos and stuff if you're ever looking for them. So we have that one. Now while I was just at Walmart recently, I picked up the Smooth Nude palette, which is this here. This is an all matte palette, just so you know. These are like a couple of my girlfriend's dream palettes because it's simple, easy to use. You know, this is an everyday palette for a lot of women. Everybody runs around me with green and blues and purples and craziness. A lot of people like neutrals. I, I'm, I'm down for a neutral palette. I want quick, easy days too to just, you know, pop it on. But let's hope we can swatch all three of these and see what happens. I'm not gonna tell you the names. <laughs> This is the first one. This is Sweet Apricot. It's the one I haven't used yet. Because they just sent it over recently. It's a good thing I put fake nails on. I would never be able to get into these little shadows. Here. Alright, I'm gonna start up on my hand. <laughs> a lot of shade, a lot of shades in here. Pinky swatches suck, I know. Okay. This has a nice mix of um, mattes and shimmer metallics. And that one. That's gorgeous, like a rush shade. Orangey. And these are palettes I would definitely even travel with. Just 
easy to travel with. God forbid something happened, you know, everything got lost or broken. I wouldn't freak out, you know, going, okay, I know it's an affordable palette and I can repurchase it if necessary. Like I would never travel with, say, like my Viseart or something like that. Really buff, I think this one. I think it's that one. Oh, I'm about to do that one. Yep. We're getting there. Watches are getting worse by the second here. <laughs> That's where that shade shows up. There's the last two. Maybe it'll shine on that. Ooh, that's pretty. It's like a pink. Okay. Good thing I started at the top of my hand. <laughs> so there is the sweet apricot eyeshadow palette. Alright. Try to wipe this off. Uh, warm velvet. Like I said, I've done a get ready with me with this. This, this is my kind of palette. This is gorgeous, just gorgeous. I love more mid tone, deep. But you can use all the palettes together. You know, you don't have to use just one palette. Use them all. <laughs> Mix and match. That's the fun of makeup. Just have fun with it. First four shades. Sorry if I'm rushing it, but I know how this camera is. We know it has tantrums. I mean, those four shades alone are gorgeous. I didn't have, like, fallout, creasing, any of that. It's just nice, affordable eyeshadow. It wasn't like affordable. I really love that one. Last row. I won't be blonde for long, don't worry. Maybe I will. <laughs> First I was hating it because I'm just so used to seeing my colorful hair. But after all day of seeing it and filming, I'm like, I kind of like being blonde again, but I don't think it really goes with my skin tone that well. So. We'll see. But I got a ton of hair color to play with. Last two. Okay, there you go. This is pretty. Warm velvet. Right there. Warm velvet. Alright, one more. This one's the smooth nudes. Almost off me. My arm's turning 20 shades of red. I got a little bit of staining going on, but it's just giving me a better idea. All right. And there again is a smooth nude palette. All right, let's rock and roll. Okay, three, four. And they do make nice matte shades, obviously. That was my bad. I picked up too much. You don't need to grind your finger into these. Okay, one, two, three, four. I don't think you can see that last one. Where is it? It's a nice pinky nude. Right in there. There's the last two in the top row. Do that other shade. <laughs> My skin's getting so red that the red's more showing through. So there's your top row. Into the middle. Yeah, let me know if you've seen Carter Beauty at your Walmart. I think you can also order probably directly from their site too, like Carter Beauty. Let's Google it. Oh, I just put two shades over the top. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Oh, I goofed that up. Damn it. One, two. 
See what happens when you go blonde? <laughs> That's a joke. Oh my god, they're right here. <laughs> This is a nice taupe color. If I put my glasses down too, I can see what the hell I'm doing. There's that taupe in the brown. I think that's the, yeah, bottom row. <laughs> Black is a little on the light side. I don't use black, so I can care less. But it's probably something... Let's see, it's my first finger. You could probably build it up, which sometimes is better. Sometimes it's better to have a shade that you can build up instead of just... Yeah, this would build. Yeah. Yeah, you could build it up. Sometimes when a, if a black has too much pigment, it, once you hit it, it's like, oh, I wish I had a little less pigment to it. So sometimes that's a better thing, I'm telling you. And the last two. This is more of a deep brown. Yeah. That color's gorgeous, too. Is that blue-black? No. So if you're looking for a new nude palette, affordable, right here, carve it. <laughs> there you go. The camera, of course, wants to, you know, on all this. <laughs> Gotta have fun with you guys. All right, there you go. Carter Beauty, Hall, PR. Thank you, Carter Beauty. Appreciate it. Really enjoying these products, though. Yeah, you got blushes, bronzers. I don't think they have is highlighters. Get going, Carter. <laughs> Give me some blinding highlighters. We'll be ready to rock. Yeah, like I said, mascaras. There's a bunch of different lipstick colors. And these lip tints, like I said, it is not a tint. It is a full-on color. So don't expect, like, oh, it's just going to be a light wash. Oh, no, it's going to be. And the lipsticks are, bam, full color also. So there you go. I think that is everything. Yes. Everyone have a fabulous day. I will see you all very soon. Let me know if you've picked up anything from Carter Beauty or intrigued about it or what are your thoughts. All right. I'll see you all soon.